It's Monday. You know what that means. <sighs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Or should I say, hello, crusty crew. How are we all doing? I'm doing uh, very well for myself. Not uh, not doing too bad. Feel a lot better uh, as well. Uh, now, I was supposed to be today going to Barnsley. But uh, thanks to London Northwestern and Cross Country dropping a bombshell on me at the last minute. And when I mean bombshell, I mean by re withdrawing a ticket. They, they withdrew the anytime return ticket, which is valid for a month. You can't get that now. You can only get the off-peak return, which is valid for a month. But that don't kick in until 9.42. So, essentially they wanted to pay double. So, Barnsley, Sheffield and Mansfield, which are all to be vlogs, are off. I will try and put them in later in the year, though. Hopefully. But, uh... One man's, uh... Loss is another man's gain, because, uh... We're going to go do the uh, Stour Valley plan that I planned because the Class 730s have come into service now. So, we're going to go and see uh, see what they're all about. But first of all, we need to get a train to Warsaw. Now, they're on a set diagram at the moment, which is 907 off Warsaw. So we're not going to be able to ride it to our first destination, but we're going to be certainly riding it from our last destination. So it gives us a chance to have a look at it and see what uh, what it's all about. So we're just waiting here for the 723, which for me is a lion. And uh, then we'll go to Warsaw, and then it's onwards to the Stour Valley. All stations bar Smevic Golden Bridge, uh, as per norm with the Stour Valley. And it's the usual uh, order as well. So uh, Smevic Roll Street. Samuel and Dudley, Dudley Port, Tipton, Wolverhampton, and then Cote back ourselves for Coesley. Cool, let's get started. And knowing the luck of yours truly, he got a 350 2 this morning. Oh my god, I got a 350 4. Be able to charge my plugs up. This phone up, I should say. Just, just stop right there for me. Danke there. Is. I've got me some breakfast. Just the sausages I'm going to get because I've had a can of uh, Pepsi already. I don't want to overdo myself on uh, fluid. I know that because I'm uh, seeing it right behind me. All the ones. Let's jump on it then. Uh, I spy with my little eye. I wonder who that could be. Hi folks, we've arrived at our first station of the session. This is Smevit Roll Street Railway Station, operated by West Midlands Trains under the West Midlands Railway banner, and it has two platforms to its name. 
and was opened in July of 1852 by the Birmingham, Wolverhampton and Stour Valley Junction Railway, um, which was then later absorbed into the London Northwestern Railway. Uh, but it wasn't until 1890 that it was rebuilt into the guise that we see here today. Now, quite a few, my phone is going off. I'm popular today, aren't I? Quite a number of changes have happened uh, since then, obviously. Uh, the first being we've had new platform uh, lifts installed, although you can see uh, just, uh, just over there. Also, I believe that we've lost a lot of the trees foliage that was over here. Because the last time I was here, I remember a lot of foliage uh, as well, which is uh, awesome. It's passing service. I better get onto that. I'll see you in a bit. Calf goodness! Yeah, that's, uh, I think the 196 was running uh, a little bit uh, late. So we are going to be here for the hour and then we move on to our next station which is going to be Samwell and Dudley. Now when I do the Stour Valley for those that haven't seen my Stour Valley um, vlogs before, I always miss out Smevic Galton Bridge. The reason being I want to be on the other side, so in other words that side, for Smevic Galton Bridge. Also, I want to do it with the um, Snow Hill lines on the top, so I usually put Smevic Galton Bridge at the end of a stint from, say, Stour Bridge. So that's why you don't see uh, Smevic Galton Bridge. But yeah, like I said, here for the hour, and then onwards to our next station, Smevic Roll. Samwell and Dudley. I knew what I was saying, I was testing.
7.30. The next stop will be Sandwell and Dudley. I don't like that. I really don't like that. Not bad. I'll do an in-depth view later because it's my train from Cosley back to, uh, back to uh, probably Tainbridge. One thing I do notice straight away, there's no door closing button. There's door opening, but there's not door closing. It's a very interesting. Hello, Sam, Will and Dudley. Can it open for me? So very, very interesting. Right then folks, here we are at uh, station number two for the day. This is uh, Samuel the Dudley Railway Station, operated by West Midlands Trains under the West Midlands Railway banner. And it has two platforms to its name. And, oh, there's a Scania. Yeah. Uh, now, this open, station opened in 1852 as Oldbury Railway Station, one of two stations in Oldbury, the other being the uh, Great Western Railway Station, which uh, is over by the Sainsbury's in some capacity. I don't know where, where that Sainsbury's is. I don't think it's too far from here, but uh, I could be wrong. It wasn't until 1984 that this station got completely rebuilt so they could uh, accommodate the intercity trains, and it then became known as Samwell and Dudley, even though it's literally nowhere near either. I think uh, it's more closer to Oldbury than it is to Samwell and or Dudley. 
So yeah, we're just uh, finishing up. <coughs> Been uh, certainly interesting stint. It's going to be uh, another interesting stint in a moment because we're going over to Dudley Port. Uh, but I'm in a bit of a race because I just found that 390.119 is the next Houston in. But there is a cross country that's late in front of it. Everything is crossed that we get 390.119 at Samwell and Dudley. Anyway, we're, like I said, we're just finishing up and then uh, we're off to Dudley Port. is up again although that doesn't look too bad I can get away with that I think alrighty then folks station number three for the session this is Dudley Port Railway Station operated by West Midlands trains under the West Midlands Railway banner and it has two platforms to its name and wasn't the original Dudley Port Railway Station because the original Dudley Port Railway Station was on the low level that opened in 1850 by the South Staffordshire Railway. It wasn't until 1852 when this section of Dudley Port opened, the high level in 1852 by the Birmingham, Wolverhampton and Stour Valley Junction Railway. Now it was then known as Dudley Port High Level to distinguish it from the South Staffordshire Railway's low level platform, which I think you can still see down there. You see the blue fencing? That's uh, the old track bed going down that way. Now that line closed in 1964 and it was in that time that this station was then renamed to Dudley Port. Uh, it is the anomaly station in this section being an island platform. Uh, also, <laughs> since I was last here, the shrubs have grown back up. We love it when the shrubs grow back up. Absolutely beautiful knot. Uh, you've got the canal just next to you. If you get come here on a nice beautiful day, you can see the canal boats uh, chugging past very nicely. We did miss 391.19. Fuck. Um, and as far as the other two are concerned, the other two have already gone. 391.21 went down to London early, and 391.04 went up to Scotland early. So I'm not going to see both of them. But uh, yeah, here for the hour, and then we're off to our next station, which will be Tipton.
Ho then, ladies and gentlemen. We are at station number four for the uh, session. This is Tipton Railway Station, operated by West Midlands Trains under the West Midlands Railway banner, and it has two platforms to its name. And Tipton opened in 1862 as Tipton Owen Street and remained in situ until around about 2010 when it was completely demolished to get rid of the level crossing that was uh, down at the south end of the uh, platform. Uh, now there is an underbridge that goes there, which the cars go underneath now. Uh, and then it reopened in 2010 as Tipton. Now, surprise, surprise, we've got another 730. That's our third 7... Actually, no, it's not our third 730. It's our fifth 730, because I forgot the two that we got at... Uh, Thingamabob. Where's it called? Sam, uh, Dudley Port. So five 7.30s on the day, and we weren't expecting one. I will take that all day and every single day. We have got, we just got a surprise with the 150s. Um, they went up, so I only assume they did a set swap at Shrewsbury because they're not compatible with the Cambrian coast. So they've come back and done the uh, diagram that I think the Cambrian uh, set uh, was going to do. But uh, that's good, that's all well, all good. So, we're just here for another half hour. There is a 7.30 due <coughs> any moment uh, now. And then we move on to our next station, which will be our turnaround station today, Wolverhampton. Oh. 
this is Wolverhampton. Fantastic oh, Ola. Oh, I want to go this way. I don't know why, I just want to go this way. Right then folks, here we are at our fifth station of the day. This is Wolverhampton Railway Station, operated by West Midlands Trains under the West Midlands Railway banner, and it has five platforms to its name, with platforms one to four in the middle, but platform five, this one uh, over my shoulder, being sort of an omni because it goes five, one, two, three, four. Now, this iteration of Wolverhampton was opened in 1852, I do believe, yes, the 1st of July 1852 by the Wolverham the Birmingham, Wolverhampton and Stour Valley Junction Railway and I've got a Pendolino coming in right now. Joyce! So uh, that over there, that is uh, Wolverhampton, all that uh, yellow building sort of there, that's Wolverhampton's new uh, entrance over there. I don't know if you can see just over the top, the, there's some yellow lights there. That's the tram terminus, so all the trams uh, terminate over here. They come down here, there's a bit of track uh, just over there. So if they want to uh, bring a tram down uh, this way, they can do. Uh, also over there, that is Wolverhampton bus station over there. I believe part of that was the first Wolverhampton train station. I'll get that confirmed, but I'm not entirely sure of that. I'll, but I will get that uh, confirmed. Ooh, Trident. Do you see the Trident? There, Trident. Fantastic. As we were saying before I got so rudely interrupted. <clears throat> so this station opened in 1852 by the Birmingham Wolverhampton and Stour Valley Junction Railway. Uh, it opened originally as Wolverhampton Queen Street uh, before in 1885 being known as Wolverhampton High Level because just over the fence in there 
is the old Great Western Station of Wolverhampton Low Level, which uh, Simon visited. So I'll uh, stick a pinned uh, thingy up in the uh, corner for uh, his uh, vlog. Um, it was redeveloped then in between 1964 and 1967 in accordance with the electrification that was going to happen with the West Coast Main Line before in 1973 it became known as Wolverhampton Farrell because they closed the low-level um, platforms. Now it started a redevelopment uh, between 2018 and 2021 and it was in preparation for the West Midland Metro arriving here which happened on the 17th of September 2023 and as I said you see uh, the building over there that's part of the uh, redevelopment that uh, happened over there. Uh, there was another Wolverhampton station here apart from uh, Wolverhampton uh, low level uh, that was called Wolverhampton there it is uh, it was opened by the Grand Junction Railway it's known as uh, Wolverhampton it was in the town centre and then it was called Wensfield Heath uh, and that closed in 1873 so yeah lovely station uh, Wolverhampton it certainly um, doesn't get a lot of the love that uh, it really should. And I see the next 3.50 coming in, so I'll wrap this up uh, very quickly. We're going in here till about quarter past two, and then it's off to our final station, which will be Coesley.
there's not another fucking bench down there. You've always got to love the motherfucking bench. It's right there, look. Uh, right then, folks, here we are, final station of the session. This is Coesley Railway Station, operated by West Midlands Trains under the West Midlands Railway banner, and it has two platforms to its name. And traditionally, it's always the, uh, the last station I do on the uh, Stour Valley. If not uh, Coesley, it'll be Tipton. Um, opened in 1902, uh, this iteration did anyway. It replaced an earlier station which opened in 1852, uh, but that was known as Deepfields and Coesley and was built about 400 or so yards in uh, that direction. But uh, like I said, this is uh, the, always the uh, penult this last station. We can definitely sit down on a nice little bench, right, uh, just right here, and watch the world go by as uh, I like to do. And it has started to drizzle, which uh, I'm a bit concerned about. Maybe because I brought no hat. Uh, but yeah, here for the hour. And then we're disappearing on the 7.30. And we're going to go all the way to Tainbridge Parkway. Well, that's the plan anyway. Oh wow, did you see the rainbow? That's cool. So it's nice seeing little stuff like that. Of course, it means that something in here is gonna drop a fucking bomb in a moment. Who's gonna be responsible for it? Huh? Who's gonna be responsible for it? And why am I gonna be running under the bloody shelter in a minute? That right there is freaking sweet. Stand back and answer, but you've got them in sign language as well. I want to see more of that. I want to see more TOCs imply this. Not, not that. Not, not that.
Don't like that. Although it does sound cleaner than uh, what it currently sounds at the moment. First impressions of the seats. Comfortable. But very thin. They... Ow! I just strapped my fingers on the table. Spring loaded. The next stop will be Tipton. So, uh... That's not uh, good. Plenty of space uh, here, you can see. Like, plenty of uh, plenty of space. Because I believe this unit uh, at full capacity can hold around about 540, 550 people. We are now approaching Tipton. Please mind the gap when we got plug Yeah, we got plugs as well. Doesn't look like we have plugs at the singles though. That's unusual. Uh, let me just double check under here. No, we do have we do have plugs uh, up there. Right. Yeah, that's where they are. I think overall I like these, but I'm not a fan of these seats. That's a definite. Definitely not a fan of these seats. Too thin. All right, let's uh, travel to Tainbridge then. Curzon Street update. <laughs> Work is progressing nicely. is TBP. It certainly is. Yeah, I had to cut my uh, review of the 730 short because uh, a couple decided, uh, in fact not a couple, a group decided that they wanted the table area. And uh, when I told them no, they uh, all sat there and were uh, making comments. So, uh, yeah. <coughs> but uh, you know what? Those 730s, I'm not sold on them. I'm not so seats are comfortable uh, although they're very they're very thin they're very very thin uh, tables on a commuter train I, I, I don't know uh, what else they've got the plug-in they've got the Wi-Fi all that works uh, yeah I'm pretty sure in time I'll grow to like them, but if you would give me an give you an honest opinion right now, I'm not sold. I'm would I want one of those over a three fifty two? No, and that's really shocking for me to say because I don't like the three fifty twos. Maybe the 730-2s will change my mind when uh, when we get hold of them. Anyway, we, we've switched over at uh, TBP. Going to get uh, the Rougely train from here, which will probably be packed because uh, it's quarter past four when it left. Uh, that's right, yeah. My God. I have. 
Will it be will it be full or will it be empty? Stay tuned for this. <laughs> Oh, very full. Uh, I, might, uh, I might be in the wrong uh, format here. Something's telling uh, me. What was that? Something metallic, I don't know what. Well, I'm back home, and that means I can end uh, end the vlog, which is awesome. Uh, Sour Valley, all done. No hassle, no fuss. Seven thirties acquired. Do I like them? No, not really. But are they suitable enough to replace the free two freeze? I think they might. But there's a few things with them that uh, just don't set right with me. I think what they've gone is tried to do what they did with the Thameslink 700. But then they've overcomplicated it. I made it too express-like. See, for me, the 730s were gonna be a commuter uh, unit. That, for me, is not a commuter unit. Not in the uh, slightest. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already done so. Thank you to the channel members. And to our newest member, Pacer Chaser. If you want to be uh, like uh, Pacer Chaser and the rest of the uh, absolute legends that have membered up, uh, $3.99 a month. Get you the vlogs nice and easy. No hassle, no fuss. Now, as far as the next one, I don't know where we're going. I honestly don't know. Because... I have uh, other commitments that I want to uh, do. So there will be a vlog next Thursday. I just don't know where. But uh, in the meantime, folks, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'm off home. I'll see you all in the next one. Kick back and reminisce. Thinking about the dumb shit I did Growing up, maybe a bitch But I keep on going cause I know I can do this I was born a baby